Hey everybody, welcome in that new tutorial which will show how to use the set terrain behavior. So set terrain behavior can be used for a settings like this one here, where probably you're having like an arbor and a, and a dock, and let's say this is a boat, and at some point the boat lives and you want the characters which were navigated in the whole area, um, getting attached to that geometry there, and, um, and navigate in that geometry while it moves. So let's see how we can use the set terrain behavior to tackle that kind of issue. So in my scene at the moment, I don't have anything Golem related. I just have my various geometries there. So we're gonna start by creating our entity type node. So we're gonna bring a character from the character pack and uh, break a shader. Then we want to define properly the various terrain that we're gonna have into our scene. So let me just remove that shading character, put it away. Great. Um, so yeah, we're going to create the various terrain. So we're going to need first to have a terrain which gets all the geometry into account. So we can have the character going from the arbor to the boat and using that small bridge here to make the connection. So let's do this. Let's create our first terrain. My geometry is in meter units and that's for biped characters. So I'm going to stick with the default parameter there. And I'm going to create um, arbor or um, GSE geometry. That's gonna create for me a new terrain. Let's rename this as well. Let's rename it Arbor. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. And um, here, if we check, we've got you know um, that full zone being connected together, so we can feel that the character. If we create a character there, they will be able to go on that part of uh, the scene. All great. So, as we having the boat which leaves. Um, oh, and by the way. Uh, my terrain has been created on the state of the geometry, which is not good. So sorry, let's redo this. Let's um, go back into the initial state. So the geometry is at its initial position. And let's recreate the nav mesh from here. Great, okay, so now it's aligned. Um, and at some point here at frame 150, we've got the arbor which is living. So what we're gonna need to do is also define a terrain just for that geometry here. And at some point we're gonna switch the terrain from that default terrain here to the boat terrain geometry only. So let's only select the boat. With the nav mesh creator being opened, let's uh, create a boat only. Let's rename those guys properly. Arbor all terrain and boat only terrain. Great. So next step is let's check the various options that we have within the terrain. So we've got um, two different things that we need to take into account. The first thing is that um, that boat here is moving. So we want to take this into account. So if we uh, take, in, uh, take a look into the boat uh, on the terrain, um, it has two different sections, one for the ground adaptation, so how the characters will adapt to the actual geometry. So it has an update mode. So update mode here is um, set up to static, which means the geometry is not expected to move. Um, so that's our some optimization that we're having within Golem. So here the geometry actually moves, so we need to take this into account. So we're gonna say um, the geometry here as a dynamic transform. So dynamic transform means that we've been keyframed uh, the transform parameters, so translate, rotate, and scales of that actual geometry, and we want to take this into account. We also want to say that uh, the character will be pinned on ground, which means that if the transform is dynamic, we want to have uh, the characters, you know, being attached to that dynamic, and they are going to move along rather than if we don't check it, we'll have characters sliding. Um, so let's enable this. And next thing is we also want to take into account that the nav mesh here is gonna be animated as well. So we want to provide the same um, key values here to that uh, terrain. But I'm probably gonna, you uh, know what? Let, let's go back to the various, to, to the default settings. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like and how we can improve this. So let's make the actual simulation. Um, and you know, just for a minute, let's hide uh, that terrain so we don't have that red border here. Uh, by default, into the manager, if we go into the environment attribute, the terrain which is used is the first one we've been created. So make sure that you're creating your overall terrain first, or within the drop down within the manager, let's make sure that you're using the right one. So here it's going to be Arbo O. Excellent. 
So let's uh, populate our scene here. Uh, let's create a 5-5 five, five grid and provide some distance. Uh, let's orient those characters in the right direction. So probably going to be 90 degrees. And let's provide them with uh, some targets on the other side. Let's create a 5-5 five, five grid as well. Increase the distance. And we're going to set them up with some behavior. So the first thing is um, we want them to go on the other side to reach the boat. So I'm going to provide a go to behavior to say that I want them to reach the target shape uh, node, which is defined. And let's provide them with some you know crazy values here so we don't wait for them too long um, to move to the other side. Well, I'm, you know, regular stuff. I'm just creating my simulation here and I totally forgot to generate my characters there. Okay, let's populate. So we're having a characters which are, you know, moving on the other side and at frame 150, the terrain moves, but the character doesn't move. Okay, all great. Um, also probably something we want to do is um, at frame 150, we want uh, our characters to hang around in that area. So first thing is we want to say that, um, you know, at frame 150, stop that group of action here and we're gonna to switch to a set terrain behavior. So there's multiple ways of doing this, but um, well, I'll show you one and um, you know, with uh, the rest of the Golem knowledge, you can um, create your own scene if you want. But what I'm gonna say is say, I w at frame 150 here, um, I want you to stop this action here so that go to behavior will stop. I'll say to the parallel behavior here that as soon as one behavior has ended, I want the whole block to stop as well. And afterwards, I'll just bring a set terrain node. And I'm going to say that my set terrain node is going to decide that my characters will just use that boat only shape um, from that moment. So let's see what we get. So we'll get a characters and let's click on a character is playing at the moment, the navigation and go to behavior. So that's great. And as soon as it reaches its target or as soon as frame 150 hits, then is using that new set terrain behavior. So now we can see they're assigned with the set terrain behavior, but still nothing happens. The reason that's for this is because we're taking the fact that the geometry is dynamic here. Well, no, we haven't changed it, right? We put it back. So we need to bring back to both only. So we're going to say now our geometry is dynamic. It has a dynamic transform. So the character will take this for the ground adaptation. So if the geometry was about to move, you know, up and down, the ground adaptation will adapt to this. So let's run the simulation. Once again, we should not see anything specific there. So geometry moves, all good. Um, so as I said, we want to pin them on the ground. So when the geometry moves, we want them to be attached. So let's do this. So now when the geometry is gonna move, the character moves within it. That's amazing. Excellent. And I want to assign them probably with some um, go to a geometry as well. So I want them to, you know, remove their new area because at the moment they're just static. So we want them to, you know, keep living their own life here within their new terrain. Up. Uh, let's provide some navigation there. Okay, and let's see what we get. So here we can see the characters, um, they are still moving and you can see that they are all also being adapted to the nav mesh. So we've got one more thing to fix. The thing is our boat only nav mesh is still aligned with the previous geometry. So that's our boat only navigation mesh. And you can see that as soon as I throw a go to and navigation behavior, the characters stick within this. So you may have um, already uh, guessed that what we need to do final step is to align the keyframes of the navigation mesh with the keyframes of our terrain. And this is only if you need to have your characters navigating into that new area. So what I'm going to do is uh, just unlock uh, the transformation, the translate, uh, here of my boat only terrain. 
I'm going to put a key at frame 150, the same one that I'm having uh, here on the other side. And at frame 400, I'm going to align my terrain with it. So that's probably going to be minus 16 here. Set a key. And now you can see that your nav mesh is being aligned with your geometry. So let's see what we got. All the characters moving, navigating in that new area. As soon as the area moves, we've got the borders of the terrain, which are moving as well. And you got all the characters, you know, uh, navigating in that new boat system. So yeah, that was the set terrain behavior, um, how that helps, and uh, see you into the next video.